Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist TJ Springer. We made it through January and looking back, it was actually one of the wettest Januaries on record when you take into account the rain that we did have and melting all the snow down to liquid picked up just under six inches of rain, five and 8200. So that's the top five for us. Felt like we had a lot of moisture. It looks like going forward into February, we're going to have some ridging, so we may not have too much moisture over the next week. Plus, here's that live glance in the city of Lebanon, seeing a little bit of light on the horizon as we glance southbound, but really it's another gray day for us ahead of a cold front that is off to our uh, north and west. We can see those clouds out there, but not seeing any moisture just yet on the Storm Team Live radar network. That will change later on tonight as this cold front starts to dive in. Not a ton of moisture associated with it, but some showers nonetheless on the table as that begins to make its way into the Commonwealth. Now our Newsday Storm Team forecast today not much sun. I think still some peaks out there like we have had across the valley. Middle 40s to near 50 for the afternoon, which is well above normal for this time of the year. Overnight expecting some showers at times. Temperatures look to fall back into the upper 30s and lower 40s. Then a little bit of cooler air trying to work in from the northwest for our uh, Friday, but still above average for this time of February. Low to mid 40s with maybe a shower around early in the day and then still some upper level energy lingering could keep those clouds around. But the one plus is that temperatures are milder ahead of that front. If you're not a fan of the chill, we're around five to 10 degrees warmer than where we were this time 24 hours ago with numbers in the middle 40s in New York. One of the cooler locales, Lewistown, you're at 39. We have 45 in the capital city, now 47 in Lancaster. Here's predictor. I think this overdoes the clearing just a bit, and obviously we're not seeing this much sunshine at the moment, so I still think mostly cloudy, but some peaks of sunshine nonetheless. And then we start to see a little more cloud cover through dinner time and beyond as that front starts to drop in. And by the wee hours of our Friday, this is 1.30, we're starting to see those showers ahead of that front. And then by tomorrow morning, it's through. And we can see the blue arrows and an indication of that cool air trying to work in. You can still see not a ton of sunshine, but a little bit of clearing by dinner time tomorrow. Now, our News 8 Storm Team 10 day does feature some brighter conditions ahead after Groundhog Day. We're back into the middle and upper 40s over the weekend as high pressure settles in. Really a pleasant one for us, a bright weekend, but we aren't expecting really any moisture going forward until we get to late in the period. It looks like with this ridging developing a dry week ahead with maybe a few showers developing Friday into Saturday of next week. Susan. All right. Thank you. Continue.